Isn't it funny that one of the, the things that can come out of basic routine maintenance is that you need to do more maintenance. And uh, we're just replacing this uh, fuel filter just down here. And uh, by seeing that these two little clips here were actually touching on the fuel line, we realized, hang on a minute, they could be chewing into the hose. Nathan, I don't know if you can see this, but if you look at this fuel line here, just here, there is a really deep gouge. I've got a long nail at the moment. It's gone a long way in there. It's actually gouged into the fuel line, and that fuel line would have exploded. Well, we're only days away from the 24 hours of lemons non-stop race, and uh, I know that would have let go. Fuel, hot exhaust, under the bonnet. This car was a Cheech and Chong. It would have gone up in smoke. So uh, never, ever, ever can you over-prepare or over-maintain a car. Take care, guys. All right, well, it's that time of the year, folks, the uh, 24 hours of lemons, but not any 24 hour lemons. No, no, no. This is the non stop, continuous 24 hour of lemons, of course, oh. Billy Hickey. Uh, the Hoonkort GT Planet Pulsar is already loaded up and ready to go. And uh, the Commodore, which uh, this lovely person will be <laughs> driving later on this weekend, is uh, just about to get loaded up. Um, how are you feeling, mate? This is oh, this is big. This is this is still, still a little bit real now. I don't think it was real when I left Palmy at 20 past four on Thursday morning, but um, yeah, no, it's all it's all very real now. These cars being loaded on a transport, it makes us feel very professional. These cars turning up via a transport, that's pretty bloody cool. But no, this is awesome. We're gonna get the last uh, few cars loaded up now and head down to the track. This is where it all starts. We've got uh, documentation and scrutineering today. Uh, BS tomorrow morning, and then of course it all starts tomorrow with practice and the big one at three o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Pumped, absolutely pumped, how about yourself? Yeah, of course, of course, and uh, you see, you say it looks professional, that's because it is professional, ASAP towing, honestly, these guys have looked after us countless times now, and as you can see, they've got the massive six-car transporter, of course, we've got race cars, spare parts cars, body shells, drivetrains, every sorts of vehicle that you can imagine, and these guys, they're doing us a solid absolutely. at helping out with these, so yeah. kudos to them, if you ever need any vehicle delivery needs, ASAP towing, that's the one to go. Plenty to happen, of course we're going to be documenting pretty much the entire weekend, uh, myself and Billy and the countless others that are involved with Home Corp and GT Planet and all of the lemony goodness that we look forward to at this time of the year, so <laughs> lemony goodness, <laughs> well, good you know, it's, it's, it's pretty good isn't it? So, oh, I'm just pumped to get down to the track. That's yep, really yep, well yes. we'll, be, we'll be getting down to the track pretty soon. Hopefully eh? a yeah. track walk later on today, there's supposed to be some GT guys on the track but hopefully we get ranked out. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, no, no. Uh, so yeah, plenty to happen. Oh, the Lucino's Comes about to get loaded up now. So yeah, stay tuned for more from us. In the December of 2018, on behalf of Hoon Corp, I put the invite out to the entire GT Planet community. 24 Hour Lemons was on the horizon and Hoon Corp was going to enter. We wanted the community to come together and put in a team. Now, we had responses from all around the world. We had America, we had Europe. We had Asia, but ultimately the drivers that responded and actually came along and did the thing were all Kiwis. To be fair, we did have a driver from the South Island, so arguably we had overseas drivers. But these are the four drivers that came along and got involved. Hey, so my name's Carl. My GT Planner name is uh, Major Swanky. I'm 21 years of age. Yeah, we're here at the 24 Hours of Lemons. Have no. Always had a love of motorsport. My old man we used to race cars, he used to race the likes of Alan Moffat. So it was bigger than that, been to Speedway. And that being said, circuit racing's been around my whole life, so why not make the fresh start at the 24 Hours of Lemons, eh? Start with the fastest and longest race we can possibly have. Hi, my name's Cameron, uh, Normac 7 on GT Planet. I'm 22, I'm from Tauranga, New Zealand. First time out on a proper track. Really looking forward to it. Uh, I do a lot of uh, ca uh, high karting back in Tauranga. I also work at a go kart track here uh, called Bay Karts uh, Outdoor Kart Racing. Hey guys, my name is Daniel. Um, GT Planet name's Urban 108. I'm from Christchurch, New Zealand. Um, down home, I'm racing um, 2K Cup, a jet car series. Um, just finished my first season, first sort of nine months car racing. 
Um, and yeah, I come from Cardiff. I decided to have a go at Lemons with a group of people that I didn't know um, and you yeah, to have a good time. Hey guys, I'm Louis D. Manila. Uh, my GT Planet tag is uh, Louis Shumi and I'm 29 years old. Uh, I'm doing the 24 hours of Lemons with Group 4 because they seem like a great uh, group of guys to do it with and uh, Nathan's part of the website and forums as well. So yeah, got a whole bunch of guys from GT Planet racing the full so It's going to be fun. found some people online and I thought, why not send them a lot of money and hopefully get to drive a car? No, it's more of a, uh, a relaxing entrance into the, into the world of motorsport, why not? Um, why, why, could, why would you not go Lemons, let's be honest. It's not a lot of money to get into the motorsport, it's a great weekend, you meet tons of awesome people, all like-minded individuals, and yeah, I just thought it might be a great place to start before I go and spend, you know, squillions of dollars on a, on a professional race car. Just have a great week. Why lemons? Um, it's well, it's, it's one of the easiest motorsports you can really get into. Um, and there's going to be a lot of cars out there. Great experience, night racing. Can't get much better than that. A buddy of mine shared it to me. Um, said, "Oh, have a go. 24 hour race. Um, something completely different to the sprint format that I'm used to. Um, sort of get out of the comfort zone, learn a new track, learn a new car, meet people. What's not to love?" Grassroots, and I had. Uh, an itch to scratch, and this is the perfect way to scratch that. So, <laughs> here we are. Alrighty, here we are, track walk time for the 2019 24 hour of lemons here at Hampton Downs Motorsport Park. Track is red, it's quiet, so there's no one on it, so we've got it all to ourselves. We're going to do a nice big walk around and, uh, and show you guys the track and get to know it ourselves because we've got a newbie who hasn't been on the track, but we'll get to that shortly. <laughs> First of all, uh, Nathan. No, well of course one of the biggest parts of any 24 hour race is the track itself, obviously. And um, Hampton Downs, it's a brilliant motorsports facility, it's, it's such a cool track, it's real fun, it's got plenty of fast sections, it's got plenty of slow sections, but um, yeah, no, I, I have actually run a lap of this before, that was for a, a scholarship <laughs> a few years ago, we had to run a lap. But I haven't actually walked it before, so this, this is going to be fun. And of course, uh, Daniel here, who has never driven a lap around this track in his life. Uh, <laughs> what are your sort of first impressions of the circuit? Elevation. Um, I'm used to tracks down the South Island that are quite flat. So coming up here, having the massive elevation changes between yeah, uh, between different corners, it's pretty cool to pretty stand out and start off with. And, uh, Fantastic. Well, uh, these two are in the uh, in the hole, so I've got the uh, I've got the Commodore, not all to myself. We'll catch up with all of our drivers later on. <laughs> but we're going to walk this track, so uh, we'll get down to turn one. Okay, so turn one, very first corner of the track, and straight away it's the fastest entry of the entire circuit. You're heading into that corner at about 200 k's an hour, depending on what you're driving. But regardless, it is a fast, fast entry sweeping and it's relatively on camber Billy Hickey it's probably one of your favourite corners yeah, one of my favourite corners if I'm not going to it backwards or with no brakes um, yeah it's, it's, it's an awesome corner because you can be about halfway through and then you can just mash the gas pedal kill the gas so hard and then get out the exit hit the curb and just oh, take off it's amazing it's so much fun such a fun corner and of course Daniel you've sort of never really driven here before but you know again this this looks like a lot of fun eh oh yeah definitely yeah it's going to be fast going to be fun um, right, well we're here on the entry to turn number two now, you come flying down through turn number one, you're in third, that's a third gear corner, and you come shooting all the way right here, pretty much where we're standing now is where you about grab the brake, if you're brave you're about 25 metres down the road, a little bit more to the 50 metre sign there, but you grab the brake and you smash down to second gear on the entry to turn number two, which is where we'll go next, and then it just gets a whole lot awkward after that, but this is one of my favourite corners because you can do a whole lot of passing here, it's good fun. It's awesome, there's plenty of opportunities. It's not so much the right-hander that's the problem, it's the left-hander which goes up and over and it's off camber and there's just so many things wrong with it and that's why I love it. It's just <laughs> such an awesome ride. <laughs> It unsettles the rear of the car, especially front wheel drive cars I've noticed uh, going over that crest. We'll talk about it when we get there anyway. I'm getting too excited. We're at Hampton Downs. Let's, oh, let's go! <laughs> right, so we're here at turn number three. Jeez, man, that was around a run and a half. We're here at turn three where it gets really, really awkward. Not, for, not just for me running it, but for the driver as well because you come flying out of turn number two and you pluck third gear right here and then the rear of the car gets unloaded and if you get loose, you end up probably upside down on that gravel trap, which is not what we want to do this weekend, Nathan. That's not the plan, no, but um, 
this is one thrilling ride like if, if you get this sequence of corners just right it's so rewarding you you, you just you, you feel, just feel amazing you feel like a race car driver you, you feel well we are race car drivers anyway, anyway you feel like it you really feel yeah, you go flying into the next corner um, thinking oh I've actually got to come back to reality here and change some gears which is never fun especially when you just want to go fast and not have to worry about all the degree oh that's just me yeah, yeah, oh, yeah okay right, right. Yeah. we'll head to the next one anyway all right, well, after a short, sharp drag race to the next corner, the higher pull hairpin, as uh, it's known by most of Hampton Downs, this is where you're going to get it sideways if you're in a rear-wheel drive. Of course, uh, pretty early apex, and you slide it out, you're going you're gonna to have trouble keeping the Commodore straight. Oh, I only got sideways out of here once, so I'm fairly sure I shouldn't have any trouble getting it in straight, but it's, uh, it's pretty awkward because you end up all the way out there, and you go through about two gears before you get to the dipper down there, which sucks, but it's awesome at the same time. So, a very awkward corner, especially if you've got no brakes. I've done that before as well. Awesome. Alright, we're here at the Porsche Dipper. This is one of the most awkwardest corners of the track. Like we mentioned before, you come up here, you grab uh, what's this, the third, third gear, and then you come right to the crest here, and you hit the brake, and you head right the way down there, getting all the way around the outside and then coming to the apex and shoot down that big one straight. Awkward corner, but one of my favourite ones in the entire track. Yeah, one of the things that you don't really notice until you're standing here on the track is the height difference. Like, in the, in the space of this corner, you're dropping probably, ooh, at least a couple stories. It's a big drop and it's just all the more fun. It's, it's really late apex, this one. You sort of, some people like to cross this white line here in front of us. They actually cross the line, maximise the L5 and they just cut it in it's just there are so many different ways to do this corner billy it's just it's so fun it's one of the most unpredictable probably even dangerous corners of the track but that's part of why we love it very very easy to lock a brake here as well with the car being unloaded that tire the inside left front tire being unloaded very easy to lock it up not very many people have done it but you can be uh, you can be uh, you can see if you've done some other cars so yeah. we're going to head down and around and finish this up because man i'm tired of walking all right so final corner the easiest corner the, whole track. the easiest corner probably the widest corner you could, you could probably get about six wide here but of course you as, wouldn't as yeah oh yeah you wouldn't <laughs> as as the 24 hours progresses of course this outer side it's going to get covered in dirt and rubber and all sorts of grime you don't want to be on the side of the road so really you want to stay more sort of the, the inner inner line but um yeah, this is this is the final corner of the track and it's probably one of the most rewarding because after this all that's left is a solid run up to the front straight. And you do it all over again after that? Just do it all again. For 24 hours, no 24 less. Hours. So, but you swap over, you know? Oh, no, no, no. Well, do you want to do 24 hours by yourself? Oh, yeah, yeah, no. no. I might try it one day, but today is not that day. No. So, uh, anyway, especially on walking this track. No, no, I'm, I'm quite dead myself. <laughs> Okay, so after the final turn of the Hampton Down circuit, of course you're greeted with a nice long straight, but it's not really a straight, is it, Billy? Because, of course, coming out of the final turn, you've got a kink down there, you've got this incline, which isn't as steep as you'd think, but it's actually pretty good. It is pretty steep. And two more kinks down there. It's not really a straight, is it? But either way, your foot flat to the floor. Absolutely, and you're getting down into turn one at 200 k's an hour, and that pretty much completes a lap with Hampton Downs, and we're going to do, be doing plenty of laps around here this weekend. I can't wait. Oh, neither can I, mate. The, the excitement is high. Of course, we've been preparing for this for a long, long time, yeah. everybody involved, <laughs> and um, yeah, but like you said, that wraps up a lap of Hampton Downs. Hope you've enjoyed it, and uh, yeah, look forward to more from Hoomcourt very, very soon. Cheers, guys. Oh, it's yeah. not sparkling. No. Oh, I hate no. not sparkling water. It's the way it is. Oh. water in your See? Triple filtered. Triple filtered water means it's been drunk by at least three other people first. Kidneys, the best filter. Non humans. <laughs> This is incredibly disappointing isn't it? Because <laughs> it looks like a race car. It's got GT Planet on the side. It's got... And this is the bit that's going to get me. Absolutely no offers of bribes whatsoever. You haven't opened the boot, mate. That's right, I haven't opened the boot, but you told me to. So that's got to be worth another five laps. So that's minus ten already. By telling me what I should be doing. <laughs> I'm the judge here. You should just be offering the stuff up to me. Come on. If I have to work for everything I have to do. What? Oh, the boot. Okay, and um, 
You horror story, by the way. That's cost you five laps. Oh. Disrespecting your woman. Who made, who made these? My mother. Your mother? What are you getting your mother for Mother's Day? Um, well, big hug. And, and lots, of love. Lots, of love. lots of love. What a heartless Lots of love. Dear Mum, can you make some cakes so we don't get penalised laps when we go to the 24 well, hours Yes, dear. That's fantastic. Mother's Day tomorrow. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll give you a hug. Well, she's not coming. Why not? Poor mother. Okay, so we got, wrong I got she's so, she's 10 really laps. 15 laps because you disrespected the lady. Oh. Not very nice. Are you driving, by the way? No. <laughs> so you could get that back by letting her drive. Let's go get her a suit! Let's get her a suit! <laughs> the look on the Team Chief's face says... <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep, there you go. Drive back to the pits? Yep. Drive back to the pits. Okay, so still minus 20. General displeasure. General displeasure with that one. Right, let's get the next one in. I'll take that for you, kind judge. Thank you, wise judge. Thank you, wise judge. Benevolent judge. <laughs> Next car, please. All right, you got to drive it. Yeah, she can steer, we'll push it. Oh, just good, right. <coughs> on the race channel. Off over and to the white line is even that little extra bit, so some some people you know maximize that racing line. Uh, up over there and then pretty much follow the outside. It's a real late apex this one. So as as you would have seen that uh, that video with Mario, they it's a real late apex. You could probably run it, you could probably hug the inside if you're you know blocking for position, but it's lemons, we're never really gonna have to be that aggressive. Um, yeah, it's that's what it is, and there's, there's hundreds of different ways to take it. So it depends on the situation, and obviously who's around you, and what and what they're doing too. A lot of people spin here as well. It's a rear-wheel drive, and they elevation change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The elevation, and there's just so you'll get you'll get people spinning. You'll get people going. Alright, so the first laps of the weekend, we're just about to start the practice session and the first laps of the weekend for the Pulsar, the honour goes to this man right here, Daniel, mate, first time out on the track, first time out in the car, let's go, what's going through your head? Uh, basically go out, explore the track, get to know it, find the, um, not really find the limits because it's a yellow flag session, but just you know, get the feel of everything, get the feel of the gearbox, get the feel of the pedals and go from there. Ready awesome, to stuff. Today. awesome stuff and of course the other drivers are going to be having their respective turns on the car over the course of the day race starts at 3 p.m so cheers guys thumbs up
All right, Louis, first stint of the big 24 hour. This is this is pretty eventful. There was a uh, quite a bit going on there. Tell us through how yeah, that was. Yeah, um, we're having some issues with the comms, but um, yeah, we'll um, try to get that sorted for um, my next stint. Um, car felt great. Uh, yeah, I've just relayed some info to um, to Daniel. Uh, yeah, basically, don't get blasted by the traffic. He, um, he's raced in 2K Cup, so um, as long as he keeps in mind that it's an endurance race, I think we'll do right. Of course, and um, we did have a few, uh, there's already been a few mechanical failures and some people going off and making mistakes in those early stages, so how, how did that feel for you? Were you, were you sort of calm and collected? Or were yeah, you... yeah, no, um, that shouldn't be happening at this stage of the race for anyone really, but um, yeah, um, it's a, I thought starting from the back would have been um, a little better for disadvantage, but it turned out pretty good. So makes sense you guys are experienced and um yeah we're reaping the rewards so from all the experience you guys had before so yeah I'm gonna rest up now awesome oh, Right, we're here with the fat lemons team, eating what? a bloody... What are you eating? What? I'm a bashy. <laughs> Do it on camera, I do. Are you actually live? <laughs> yeah, I have my rights. Are you live? Nah, I'm filming myself. Hi. You're epic. Alright, should we do this? Let's do this, alright. Okay, so we've just done our first, uh, first respective stints for the 24 hour. Of course, Louis started and he handed the reins over to uh, this lovely prone man over here, Daniel. And uh, then I took over. And Cameron is currently in the car at the moment. Uh, Carl will be jumping in just after that. But uh, gentlemen, yes. how was that? Awesome track. Holy hell! <laughs> yes. I can't get over that. Eh? Oh, the track's incredible. I was knackered because I had the window right up throughout my whole stunt. Only had um, only had the window down when it was safety car. Can't complain. <laughs> So, so let's talk through let's talk through a lap of this track because obviously we did the track walk earlier and that was you know that that sort of gives you an idea of the layout of the track. But obviously, race pace it's a completely different animal. Of course, the straight, man, the straight is just it's that much more intense. I mean, it really is. A couple of kinks coming up in turn one. It's yeah. just like holy, okay, here we go. There's no break. Let's do this. <laughs> you don't get no. a break from that no. straight. Right? Like no. you're worrying about the corners, like a mild uh, thing. So. And the approach, yeah. the approach for turn one is about 160, 170 for the pulsar. I don't know what you boys saw on the needle, but oh, we were looking. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even realize we had a speedo that was actually accurate. So. <laughs> He'll try and tell you he was doing 230, but oh, sure. Nah, nah. But um, turn one, it's it's quite an interesting. Were you guys using fifth gear for the front straight? Were you using fifth? Yep. Yeah. 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 So as I, I mean, it saves the motor. But you know, it's a bit of extra Thanks, footwork, Nikki. but. Really, a bit of extra footwork, that's not a big price to pay. No, no. Of course, so, back to fourth or back to third? I'm back to third, so I'm not not touching fourth into turn one, so fifth to third, we're matching on the way down. Yep. Um, yep. Yep. And it seems to balance the car quite nicely when you do actually get the clutch out and start to turn it in. Awesome. Uh, and it doesn't over the of course. And, um, of course, very short sprint to the next corner, but it is. It's actually a pretty. There, there are some passing opportunities there. there I, is, yeah. I sort of, I sort of poo pooed Billy yesterday about. Oh, you can't really pass there, but you'd be surprised. Eh? Some yeah. of the guys are pulling some bloody awesome moves. Um, what were you doing for the, the flip flop sort of? So, so third gear, to fourth, depending on your run, and then and what, um, was that the um, open uh, that goes uphill? So, so you go, you go up the hill and then. It, Crests over. It's a bit of a blind crest that's way through. Is that? Oh, yeah, of yeah. The different. No, 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 no. Uh, up and over. Oh, turn, 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 turn three. Um, no, yeah, it's pretty basic. So, like, you come out of the first corner, have it at fourth, get it down to third. It feels a bit funny because it's like you can almost bring it down to second, but that's only for what? Like, um, I don't know, like two, three tenths of a second, right? And so, yeah. so, it's almost not worth it to um, do another downshift. And, um, yeah, so right-hander out of the way, left-hander, you know, 
crests like that, and it just picks up speed. You get it into fourth before you have to break for the, the right hand to open. And um, yeah, so yeah, same deal there. Skip a gear, go from fourth to second, rev match, and then yeah, it takes up that hill nicely. So. Yeah, 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 awesome. So higher pull hairpin, of course, that's one of the big passing points if you're rather ambitious. It's yeah. probably yeah, probably yeah, one of the slowest. Yeah. yeah, probably probably also one of the slowest corners. I don't think the, the, the Porsche Dipper is actually not that slow. No, no, it's not. So I think I think higher pull hairpin slowest, and then of course you have a big blind straight mm. into a, the Dipper, which of course is uh, we've seen a bit of action over the years, yeah. and I'm sure you guys can yeah, imagine. Yeah, 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 mate, yeah, yeah, mate. Yeah, mate. So far. Of course, uh, one of the one of the awesome things about the Dipper is once you've committed, to, it's a real late apex. This one, once you've committed, you pretty much floor it while you're still turning. And of course, the camber of the road and all that it just sort of shoots you out the other end. And isn't that just a cool feeling when you get that one right? The car, because of the way the camber is, as you say, the car sort of hooks up, locks in, and shoot off. Yeah, mate. Yeah, a hell of a lot of fun. Gets you normally a pretty good exit out onto the um, is it the back straight. Coming yeah. into the final turn, sweeper. Yeah, mate. Of course, back straight's a pretty long one in comparison. That's where you, uh, that's where you sort of catch your breath, you know, scratch your bum, just yeah, as, yeah, you're, as um, you're banging through the gears. This is actually a nice passing point as well. Um, you can try a few different lines on the way into it, um, but it doesn't affect the action too much because it's such a long sweeper, and you do have time to point the car in the way you want to go. Get that late apex. You, you'll see um, really interesting little rumble strips, and you, you kind of aim for that. And um, just let the car, um, you yeah, know, run out wide. Use all the track. You know, save the front left um, tire. And, yeah. Yeah, of course, of course. Up the, up the hill. Up the main hill. straight kinks. And, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. <laughs> There's yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah, mate. <laughs> she's uh, she's keeping us on our toes. Of course, uh, mm. I climbed down on the car bucket. I'm not sure about the. Uh, oh, I used fresh air the window down. Yeah. All the way <laughs> Yeah, you mate. Fuel, yeah. So. Yeah. 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 I've got a sweater on actually. So. <laughs> oh, stop That's where you get it. the cheating with the window. Right? Oh, yeah. plenty, yeah. plenty more action to be had here at Hampton Downs. Of course, we've got, we've got about four more cents ahead of us each. So, yeah. and uh, hopefully we'll be bringing it home in many, many hours' time. But yeah, so. Keep it on the bike side. That's the hope. Yeah, you know, keep so. it shiny side up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> shiny yeah. side up, I think we'll be doing all right. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Cheers, guys. Yeah. What happened? He pushed me off the grass at the hip onto the grass at the hip and and then I don't know what the f happened to you. I don't know whether he was trying to let me pass the walk but into the sweeper he just checked up so hard. Had nowhere to go, there's a car on the inside, so I was back. Huh? Yeah, well. What happened to him? Huh? What happened to him? Did you hit him find me out the arms? Wait, so what happened? So he pushed you onto the grass at the hip at what higher pull? Yeah, pushed you onto the grass at a higher pull. Um I don't know, just turned in and then checked up, coming into the sweeper or something, and all locked up, couldn't slow down. So. Yeah, oh, because the rain as well. Do you know which card was? 
Well, good morning. It is uh, 20 to 2 in the morning. I'm losing my voice. Uh, and the pulse, uh, unfortunately, has had a bit of an oopsie. Uh, Daniel, from the sounds of it, it got run a bit wide by one of the uh, other drivers. I know, I know, we're all mourning the, uh, the loss of a perfect run, but uh, what happened, mate? What happened? Uh, it was going really good, making up quite a, um, what felt like quite a few positions, passing some slower cars. Um, I'm not sure what the deal was. Somehow one car came past and then fell off the pace or something, I don't know, or maybe I found the pace, who knows. Uh, went to pass him down the inside of one of the hairpins, uh, right-hander, uh, and I got forced all four wheels off the apex of the turn um, to avoid him, avoid being hit. A couple of corners later, um, said car checked up really, really hard, um, and I had nowhere to go and ran up the thing. So, bit of a sad, unfortunate story. Um, yeah, these things happen, and of course, uh, cows in distress as usual. Yeah, always, um, but the bright side is, it's a box. Cameron's asleep, so uh, when he wakes up, he's going to have a, a lovely sight to come back to. But um, nonetheless, we are working to get this car back on the track. Uh, looks like a bit of radiator damage, which is never ideal. But luckily, we got the old Lucino there of spare parts. And, and folks, this is why when you come to an event like this, you need spare parts. You can't just show up and expect to run the full 24 hours. You need to have spares. You need to have spare spares. Probably even spare, spare, spares. So. That's exactly what we're doing now. We're hopefully going to fit in a new radiator and a uh, bit, of, bit of hard work. And we'll get this uh, TT Planet Pulsar straightened out and back on the track very, very soon. Cheers, guys. Good morning! It is uh, 5 to 8 on the Sunday morning here at uh, Hampton Downs. Uh, it is light again once more. Uh, so last night, uh, not much happened <laughs> because uh, uh, the pulsar kept circulating and um, not long after the race got red flagged because the fog started rolling in and it got a bit too much to, uh, to continue safely so uh, the, the officials, they red flagged that one and uh, we had a, an hour or two to ourselves to do a bit of maintenance on the cars. Of course, uh, Pulsar needed brake pads and uh, tyres and just, just, you know, spanner check the usual. Uh, and once all that was done, uh, a lot of the crew got some much needed rest. Uh, obviously not a wisp of fog to be seen. It is all 
all nice and clear and looking good. Racing's only just gotten back underway and uh, the Pulsar is sitting in 32nd at the moment. Oh, so uh, we're 15 hours into this race so far and um, yeah, hopefully we get to continue on this slow but sure rise to the uh, back back to the top. Obviously we're not really uh, not really aiming for a win anymore but however high we can end up we'll take that with both hands so yeah So we're actually... We're sitting in 30th at the moment, 115 laps off the leader. But they actually just found out that we're only 100, uh, so only two laps, not probably not even away from 29th, and three laps from 28th. That's awesome. And 27th, and 27th's 27th. not far off. The, yeah, so it's, we're definitely, it's definitely doable, you know, we've got, what, four hours left? Oh mate, we're going to do more than that, come on. Yeah, let's, so... Let's, let's aim, let's aim higher. Yeah, no, we, we got this, we're going to be up here, boys. Well, yeah, man. We're going to be playing first base, mate, what do you mean? Enjoying the view? It's definitely the pick of the spots, eh? Oh, mate. Overlooking the run to turn two. to uh, buy some laps off of uh, Lemon's Judge Nick Brown. Uh, so it's either going to go amazingly or terribly. Yes, uh, well, yeah. Literally no in between. There is no middle option. Go bigger, go home. Yeah, okay, <laughs> So we're going to try and... Cheers, guys. We, we the humblest offerings uh, we for the uh, prospect of a few extra laps. There is one thing I'd like to bring up here. I think I saw that plant yesterday too, as for some form of other bribe, which kind of makes it null and void for this bribe. <laughs> well, then it's a good thing we have other look, look. See here, you see the regular Bundaberg brew, but I see lemon, lime, and the Commodore. <laughs> yes, I understand. Please. Except bearing in mind that you've already got rid of all of your penalties with the Bill Bill challenge. When he completely uh, failed this morning, it's very good that you're filling that with water. Oh, no, no, and you're so just pouring it on your Are you suggesting you wish to try and get some laps for a Commodore that can't do any laps? No, no, no. We we're we're looking for the pulsar. Because you see the pulsar was doing so well until its um its chances of glory were terribly shattered when it was um shattered. Shattered by a uh, <laughs> by a rival racer, so Ooh. That, Ooh, uh, that sort of, and we just thought, well, maybe Nick in his how many how many laps would you like to get back? Hadn't thought this far. I didn't. I didn't think I'd get this far. Yes, we will fill this in the pot. Here is a bag full of something wrapped. Look at this mystery, mystery. That's something wrapped. Mystery present. We don't know what it is, but it's something. So Sorry, then that's something for you to decide as well. Yeah. So what we could do is we could do a mystery challenge. It depends on your performance. The rest were good. Most have done that. There was one Who can play dance? Missed, um... And for one dart each. Behind that line. Uh, are you right hand or left hand? Okay, right hand. Right hand or left hand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how many points is Montel worth? Uh, 
to miss Mantra is probably worth a thousand points. Oh, perfect. I just throw anywhere that doesn't hit Mantra. I'm going to get a thousand points to choose. No, you've got to throw it at Mantra. Oh, <laughs> and still miss it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, hang on, I'll see you in time, boys. Alright, so... Here we go. Get that extension going. Pulse laps. We're going to... It's all about the double. And there we go. That's it, that's it. Oh! Oh! That's 25. Oh, God. That's 25. Well, I was going to say, come on, you boys next. Oh, could have been 20, but wasn't. Oh, so you're sitting on 25, come on, Louis. It's all up to you. I'll do my best. I'll do my best. Oh! That makes 42. 42 laps. There you go. Is that enough? That is what yes. we received most graciously. 42 laps for the Hootful Pulsar. It doesn't matter, it's still like 300 laps for the <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but uh, I still can't believe that worked. You know what that means? We've made Lemon's history. We've officially bribed Nick Brown, and it's actually worked yeah, out for the exactly. better. It's actually worked out for the better. So, like, what do you what do you think? I mean, it's unbelievable. Because yeah, I only saw that going badly. To be we, quite honest, we are truly pioneers of lemons.
again. <laughs> We did it! Fucking did it. Yeah. Not bad for a bunch of random strangers on the internet, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Battle scars, I don't even know if I'm gonna fix that. Act natural. Act natural. Act natural. Stole it. Act natural. Act natural. Act natural, guys. Who was here last year? Who was here in the last 24? Right, well, half of you. Fantastic. Monta, were you here? Yes. Uh, we did 30,250 laps last year. That was pretty good. This year, even though we had one hour out at about 6.30 to 7.30 this morning uh, with the fog, 32,830 laps. <laughs> <laughs> Most laps uh, was actually the uh, Team Willies, as you probably know. 811 laps in the win! And we'll get a little bit of perspective on that. That means the Team Willies drove in 24 hours 2,151.2 kilometres in a piece of crap! <laughs> For those that work in the fossil fuel departments, uh, that's 87,000 kilometres overall we have driven on the track this weekend. There you go. Alright, useless stuff. Okay.